India has a military, it needs defense, and it has enemies it needs to defend itself against. To step up their defense, India, like some other countries around the world, joined in the nuclear race on May 18, 1974, after dropping its first nuclear bomb. I'm Dave Wapple, and welcome to FTD Facts, a channel where I look at people, cultures, and places, and today we are learning about India's nuclear tests. Let's rock and roll. Now, some of you may wonder, and to date, India has only done underground tests, which thank God, because above ground tests are extremely damaging to the environment. On top of that, they also have never done any tests in the water, either above or underwater as well. The very first test that was ever conducted was, yes, on May 18th, 1974, but specifically at 2 hours, 34 minutes, and 55 seconds universal time. This was known as Pokhran 1, or simply Smiling Buddha. Now, it detonated near Pokhran, Rajasthan, India, and this is simply what it looks like today. This particular explosion was confirmed by UN officials, with India saying that it was a test for peace. But really, it was to accelerate its nuclear capability. Now, this first blast obviously proved to the world that India was capable of using this type of technology in a destructive manner. I don't think it was really for peace, but whatever. However, the smiling Buddha bomb equaled about 12 kilotons, although its size is still debated today, and it's quite a bit of a controversial issue. Now, a bit of a side note, when it comes to India developing its own nuclear program, well, this started way back at least in 1944. At that time, it was known as the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, but when the 60s came about, their nuclear programs had highly progressed, and one of the main guys behind this was Raja Ramana, who eventually took over as leader of the Department of Atomic Energy. Now, Smiling Buddha was made by the Babha Atomic Research Center, and for this particular device, it was done in such secrecy that only Idira Gandhi and two of her advisors were actually informed about it. Side note, the other thing is it was also launched on Buddha's birthday. I'm pretty sure Buddha would be rolling in his grave because, you know, he would not be one to support a bomb. I mean, I'm not Buddhist by any shape or form, but he did seem like a pretty groovy guy. The reaction from this particular device had some countries very up in arms about India's decisions. Canada wasn't happy with them because they supplied the circus reactor to them. As well, the US wasn't happy because they supplied the heavy water. France, on the other hand, was kind of for it. However, eventually they retracted their letter from India. I guess they were like, maybe saying you guys did good was not a good idea. And of course, you had Pakistan, which did not like what India was doing. However, fortunately, after this, unlike other countries, you know, things went very quiet for a long, long time until 1998. Now, actually, before I continue, guys, I'm just curious. I want to know your opinions on this. Do you think it's right that India did these tests back in the day? Feel free to answer this poll right up here. Yes or no. Just curious of your thoughts. So jumping forward to the end of the 1990s, India had created what was known as the Pokhran Type 2 bomb. Now, for this device type, there were five tests done. They were known as the Shakti 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There was also a sixth one that was scheduled. However, that was canceled. But however, all of these happened on May 11th to 18th of 1998. And still to this day, nothing has been publicly revealed as to where these tests took place. The largest of this was Shakti 1 being about 43 to 45 kilotons. Of course, that one is also a bit controversial. They've never really given out a actual size to the public. The tests for Shakti 1 and 3 were also all done on the same day and were detonated simultaneously at the same time. And because of the size of these things, well, that's how other countries knew what India was up to because, well, they read it on the seismic charts. Following that, however, on May 13th, there was also the two remaining tests that was four and five. They were also commenced, however, they did not appear on the seismic charts. Now, the reaction to the 1998 tests, well, that wasn't good. I mean, the United States just was not happy with them at all. As a matter of fact, they put heavy sanctions on the country. The United States had denied technological and credit guarantees to India. Japan also did the same thing. However, both countries did keep human aid available to the country. Canada also wasn't happy, oddly enough. The UK, France, and Russia, they were all like, yep, good job. 
China was also very much against it, but one of the biggest ones was Pakistan. Shortly after, on May 28th, Pakistan retaliated in their own way by doing its very own nuclear tests, which pretty much made things way more tense between the two countries. It just wasn't really that good. However, looking at the tests itself, one thing that's really interesting is that India celebrates May 11th as National Technology Day because of what they did during these tests. I guess it's a day to really acknowledge the advancements of India. I, I mean, I guess discovering pie wasn't good enough for the country. Trust me, I'm not poo-pooing on India in any shape or form. I'm just saying, why does it have to be nukes? There are so many other great things that India has been known for to develop. You guys know what I'm talking about. However, the one question that you probably are all wondering is how many of these devices does India have? I mean, good question. Unlike other countries like the United States and Russia that have been very open about how many actual devices they have, although I feel like they might be lying just a little bit. India has not stated anything to the public. However, most people think that there's anywhere between 140 to maybe 150 devices, somewhere around there, maybe even 130. It's really kind of within that ballpark. However, guys, that is a short little video looking at some of the facts of India's nuclear testing. What are your thoughts on this? Again, feel free to let me know down there in the comment section below of whether or not you think this was a good idea or a bad idea. It's defense. I get it. But, you know, some people are just, you know, it's opinions. But thanks for watching. Also, before you guys get out of here, check out our other cool playlists. Hit that subscribe button and like this video if you rather enjoyed it. I'm Dave Wapple. See you guys later. Okay, by the way, guys, before you get out of here, be sure to check out this playlist right here. I think you guys will rather enjoy it. Other than that, you guys have yourself a fantastic one and I'll see you later. Bye.